going to take a look at adding videos to your CMS Made Simple site. Um, specifically, this one focuses on using TinyMCE um, WYSIWYG editor. A couple of methods that I have in place. One is just directly in the editor, how you can do it. Um, another one is um, utilizing a user-defined tag, a UDT. Um, that is integrated into the um, Tiny MCE as well. So we're just going to take a look at uh, a couple of those methods. Okay, for this first one, I'm just going to drop it in using the editor and its insert edit media controls that have we have available. So I'm going to go kind of queue up a video, we'll pause it, and if I do the share and I just take the link, pop into the editor, have my cursor in place, and do the video, I'm just going to drop in the code, say OK. And boom, it's actually going to pull that right in just from that. So it actually makes that a uh, pretty simplified process for us. Now, if we want to get more complicated, I can actually drop in the embed code. And they have a couple other uh, options as well where you can spot, um, specify a poster that's associated with it or an alternate um, source. So for doing the, um, the embed code, the iframe, if I come to this, then we get to see it that way. I can just do copy. I could customize the controls a little bit, the size, all that stuff, if I wanted to. And I'll come back over. And really, it's the same code that they were dropping in. Um, the only downside with these is out of the gate, they don't necessarily um, they won't necessarily be responsive. Um, so on smaller screens, it might extend beyond um, the, uh, the actual screen resolution. So the other method that I have um, that I use quite a bit is uh, using a user defined tag, um, which let's see what we have here. Nothing showing there right now. So hold on. Same steps. Oh, no. Getting all the things. One second. Okay. I couldn't wait for um, it to kind of refresh on its own there. So here I'm going to go ahead, get my cursor in the spot where I want the video to go. Um, and now under extra, we've got YouTube. When I click it, it has a video ID field that needs to be filled in. And that ID, I'm just going to say cut that, you can actually see it up here, um, up in the URL um, when you're on YouTube. So I'm just looking for the value that follows V equals and before the end list in this case. So I just need that. If I pop in here, insert, put it in whatever container you want to put it in, say apply. And then I go preview that page. Oh, and of course I haven't applied um, my rules for the video container. So one more second. There we go. This is what I was expecting to get there. Um, so it's just already wrapped in a container that is going to respond to match the, um, the container size, like the uh, containing div. So if we scroll, we see it takes full width there, um, expands across, and when we get down to the other sizes, it just keeps it nice and fluid. 